Hi, I hope you're well. I hope your family is healthy. I hope that you're not too stressed. I've been thinking a lot about hope recently. Now, hope is one of those things that's so important to us as a species. You know, hope is the thing that keeps us going when things are difficult. Hope springs eternal. Hope floats, whatever that means. But we all have a lot of hopes. I hope that my car will start. I hope that there will be toilet paper in the cubicle. I hope, I hope, I hope. But hope can be a difficult thing as well. If our hopes are raised and then dashed again, then we can start to struggle. If we start to lose hope. Things become very, very difficult indeed. When we go through that cycle of hoping and losing hope, hoping and losing hope, things become hard. It becomes hard to keep going. Now the Bible sees this. It says hope deferred makes the heart sick. And we can see that, can't we? When we go through that cycle of hoping and losing and hoping and losing, then it starts to impact us really hard. And we can despair, which is where we have absolutely no hope anymore at all. You know, we hoped that the first lockdown would end quickly, but it dragged on. And then we had lockdown number two, and it's just kept going on and on. And now we're in lockdown number three. Will it ever end? We can feel knocked down and beaten up when we lose hope time and time again. Now, the Bible tells us, put your hope in God. Now you might say, oh, Patrick, I don't believe what you believe. And I know, I understand. But the point is this, as far as the Bible is concerned, God is a certainty. The Bible says God will never leave you nor forsake you. God is certain. And when you start to put your hope in a certainty, well, then you're onto a winner. You see, if you put your hope in the sun rising tomorrow, it's going to happen. If you put your hope in a certainty, then you find your hopes going in the right direction. So when we start to struggle, when we start to struggle with hope and start to lose hope, well, we look around ourselves and we say, well, what is certain? What can I put my hope in that is certain? We don't know when lockdown is going to end. We don't know when this pandemic is going to be over, but we know this, it will not last forever. And we can be certain of that. There are certainties that we have that we can put our hope in and start to feel hopeful again. And in this difficult time, there are four things that we can do that can help to bring us hope. One is this, do your best. If you do your best, then that's all you can do. And doing your best is fantastic. So do your best and trust that your best is good enough. Two, take time to look after yourself and do that without feeling guilty. You see, if you don't do number two, then you can't do number one. So take time to look after yourself so that you can do your best. Three, reach out. If you are struggling, then reach out to somebody, friends, family, colleagues. Reach out to those people around you. You know, the people around you would much rather that you reached out than that you suffered and struggled by yourself. So trust in those around you and reach out. Four, look out for those people around you who are struggling. That's so important. If you're doing well, then fantastic. But look out for the people around you who are having a hard time, who've gone quiet, who, who aren't their normal selves. Look out for those people. So the four things are this. Do your best. Look after yourself. Reach out and look out. And if we do those four things, then we will find that we all have a little bit more to hope about. So take care of yourselves. Take care of your loved ones. Take care of the people around you as best as you can. 
and let's all take care of each other. Have a great day.